I should probably unmute. Hi, Dave. I could hear you. Great. Uh, Hank says he double booked himself by mistake. I did not time, get time this week to work on additional protocols. Okay. Um, okay. So you haven't worked on any additional ones, but did you? Uh, how are you feeling about the ones we have? We can go over them. Um, and I still have the one that's assigned to me that would probably take me, you know, half this hour one, to double check everything. No, the one that's assigned to me. Is, that's right. The actually, there's the bottom one. Uh, Help wanted. Yeah. The, I think it's the, it's the whichever one is the layered one is assigned. Yeah, I know. I found it. I just... Sorry, 299 is assigned to me is the one I was thinking of. Right. So I got to do 299, and then I still got to do 305. So 299 was one that we did one merge, and then we added a note about the uh, yep. uh, additional stuff. So. Okay. Um, all right. Let's give it another minute. Let's see who else we got. Hopefully we can get Ned. Um, the tab that you have open right now, have you had it open for a while? Because I think um, Hank actually responded to the comment that I have up. Yeah, he did in the last 20 minutes ago. Yeah, yeah there you okay. go. Yeah, I like the, the fact that there's the reference. Uh, I, I think it's close enough that I would go with either. I don't really care. I just like to have the reference. anyone so let's put this in as let's put your text in then Hi, Thomas. Hi, everyone. So my suggestion is between Dave's text and Ned's text on this one is that we go with Dave's text. I think they're close enough that it's pretty much a toss up in my mind. Any other comments? I think that was the only discussion point of this issue. Yep, that was the only, um, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to merge it. Uh, all right, well, let's just continue on this next tab I have open. 
uh, this was the other half of another part of 352, 325 rather. This one looks like you also need to refresh. So okay. I saw Hank and I both commented on this one. Okay. Okay, so configure two is one way of obtaining it. So 379, 380 are redundant. So you would just remove this? No, I, I, I would keep one or the other. Uh, I would probably just keep 379 and not have 380. Because if you look at the red text, the red text didn't have 380. 380 mm -hmm. is a subcase of 379, right? Obtained from the verifier owner could be across a protocol or by manually typing it in. Both of them are different ways of obtaining it, and configuring it is one of those two cases. So, so you either have to change 379 to be disjoint or remove 380. I don't feel strongly. I, I kind of like the word configured, but uh, so you would say or configured is what you would say. Well, let's look. Let's look at the uh, but the uh, well. No, I can't read it. <laughs> What? What? Hi, Sorry, my headphones fell out. Yeah. Um, I was going to say, let's look at the red text if we can. Okay, so the red text says it might be obtained from an endorser along with the endorsements or via some other mechanism such as being configured. Okay. So uh, I'd say there's two ways to do it. You can either delete 380, but you kind of like that. And so the other way to do it is change 379 to clarify that that is, um, you know, via some protocol, right? Because both 379 and 380 are getting it from the same party, right? Which is the verifier mm -hmm. owner. One of them is getting it across a protocol, but it doesn't say that. So you could change 379 to be, might be obtained from the verifier owner via some protocol mechanism. So like this. Yeah. Yeah. That would uh, no, no, you can keep the second line. Yeah. Oh, okay. But either that or you have to change the two lines that you highlight and only highlight the first one. I get yeah. it. I understand what you're saying now. Okay. All right. So does that make you happy? This this part? For that comment, yeah, that would resolve that comment. Yeah. Uh, I think the same thing is going to be true down in the appraisal policy for attestation results, but yes, for this point that resolves my comment. So I'll resolve this. Yep. Okay. So then Hank's comment that we maybe we have to we shouldn't be saying and or each time. Mm -hmm. I think it's easier to just say or in all three places. All three places. So all three places become or. Uh, yeah. I, I think that's what Ned. Or, I'm sorry. What Hank was implying, and I agree. That that reads better. There are commas or. Yeah, do we have we have the word or each time? That's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's read it again. Uh, I, I want I, I do want to look at the word is versus might be compared to what wasn't read. Okay. I have to refresh. All right. So the red only upper head might be in the uh, tense. And 380 to 381 has is. So we should, those should probably all be might be. Just to keep the same verb tense. Okay, so then below, I think it's all the same thing in the in the attestation results. And so same here, same as want... above. So, uh, uh, all the same things, right? That we just did. The, uh, all of the edits that we just did apply here too. So, um, so first of all, I'll 
do the easiest one. <laughs> yeah. Now, is there uh, here also you should say via some protocol? Yeah, whatever we, whatever words we use, you know, yeah, some protocol mechanism, whatever we said. As what is it? Evidence. Mm -hmm. is it evidence. Yeah. Uh, evidence. Yes. Uh, the only difference between the two that I see is 379 probably needs a comma at the end to match 388. Otherwise, yep, they look they look symmetric. All right. Well, someone might complain that it's text is repetitive, but I think we're going to go with that. I think it's fine. If the RFC editor wants to improve it, let them. All right, next issue. What's this relating to? I have not looked at this one yet. So, 307, ambiguous context in the on-device te key tester and key protection. Yeah, I remember we edited. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, the, the, that sounds familiar. All right. So I think I made these changes based upon comments during the call. Um. I don't understand the word via in 1313. Uh, so it means like if I could write a program on my phone or PC that could pull via testing keys, the private keys out via the attested environment. So that tells me that it should be from like in the red. Via sounds like, okay, if I can modify the attesting environment, then I can get the key. Well, that's still going to be true, right? If you can modify the attesting environment, then it's your attesting environment and you got the key. Well, I must not be able to modify the attester from the attesting environment. Well, right now you can't modify the keys is what the text says right now, which is fine. But the word via sounds... Different so from what you just described from. verbally. So, yeah. so you would like it to say from? <clears throat> well, that's what it said before, which I understand. I didn't know if there yeah. was something broken about that. So, uh, Plus one on Dave's comment. Okay, so from it is. Okay. Oh. Hank uh -huh. said something too. I must be okay. missed. So he agreed with us. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you got the same thing. Okay. Okay. Good to know. Right, what's the second sentence here? Wait, did it did it actually commit? Because thirteen thirteen still says via. Well, let me hit reload. Okay, there we go. Okay, so start addressing uh, Hank's comments. Um, 
hopefully after addressing kids, I'll be able to review that sentence or understand the sentence better. Okay. So he would suggest that we change this to be keys used for evidence generation. How about keys used for signing evidence? Okay, and, and once we do the plural, rest, it, is it plural? If it's keys, key. Um, in a sense, yes, because in layered attestation, you have multiple attesting environments. Each one has a key, and mm -hmm. the collection of them forms the evidence. Yeah. I mean, the stack of, of, of pieces forms and evidence. So. Okay, so uh, did you want me to try to uh, – so the second thing, evidence about the attesting, then – Evidence about the attesting environment. Yeah, I'm trying to parse that sentence. We'll figure out the meaning of the sentence here. I think so. it's supposed to be attested environment. Okay. Um, uh, but there's more than one attested environment in the evidence. There's a whole like. Well, but this is wrong. It's not. It's not evidence about the attesting environment. That's just wrong. I, it's I, a typo. I, I understand. Um, why is not just all evidence there. could be forged? Okay, now we're getting closer. Um, if access to the keys used for signing evidence. Okay, so right, now I think I understand the intent of that sentence. That's helpful. Thank you for those fixes. Um, now it's just grammar. Um, if and was don't match. Um, so I'm trying to find a, a simpler way to phrase that. Um, well, it's either it becomes is. No, well, normally it would be if and were, right? Would be the normal way to do it. The, if access to the keys was used for signing evidence, then I don't know what's going on with the rest of that. Then, um, because can we simplify it by deleting access to the, or sorry, access to, or does that change get rid the of name? get rid of available? Because access and available are saying the same thing. Yeah. I, uh, Okay, let me read the previous sentence again. Extract the keys to the attesting environments. If um, the keys are available for signing evidence, then yeah, yeah, something simple. Um, I wonder if we can combine that with the previous sentence. Um, for example, if the previous sentence would they where the comma is, sorry where the period is right now at the end of thirteen thirteen. Um, what if the it said something like um. Uh, to prevent creating forged evidence. Like this? Yeah, I wonder if that has exactly the same meaning as that full sentence. Feel free to wordsmith, but I, I, I'm, I'm thinking that's the same thing as that long sentence in five words. That works for me. I'm fine. Yeah. Okay. I'm fine. Um, yeah. Okay. I think that resolves Hank's comments. Um, can you make one other, can you insert a comma before, uh, to prevent? I think when I said it out loud, I said comma, or at least I meant to, maybe I said it in my head. Uh, like that? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yep. Good. Does that one close an issue? 
Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Good night, Penguin. Sorry, guys. I need to leave now. Please, please. <laughs> All right. Bye. Good night. Bye bye. Okay. How many issues are we down to now? Just out of curiosity. Uh -huh. So hang on. This one just got closed. Seven. Okay. Uh, issues. All right. Um, Is this the one that we had open comments on or not? I can't remember. Or is this a new one that I haven't reviewed? This, this is Lawrence's. Old. This is Lawrence's one, which we which we've asked for him to change, but he hasn't had a hasn't come back. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, okay. Well, yeah. Okay. Gotcha. I see your request changes from you. Okay. Uh, so this is an issue. You had help wanted on it. I think we're done all of. Well, I, I, can't, I had help wanted on it because I couldn't tell if there was a change needed or what. So that's, that was my comment. It looks like Hank responded to that at one point. I'm not totally sure if I have to spell that out everywhere. So I think this one was tagged as a needs discussion. Should we just close this one or is there some um, work that we need to do since I guess I don't know if you filed it on somebody else's behalf, Michael, or if this one was from you. Uh, I thought we had the conversation during a working group meeting or something like this. Okay. Um, and we had the, the discussion about whether or not these handles had confidentiality uh, requirements or even if – I wasn't even sure if they had integrity requirements. Um, okay. um, and so here my comment was I think – that uh, the uh, section that I linked to already discusses those things. And the question is, were there any gaps in that section? Because I think when it came up during whatever meeting it was, it might have been the TEAP meeting, I don't remember, um, we didn't have that text on the screen. And so it could be that all the comments are things that are already addressed in the document. Uh, so this Maybe is security considerations. This security to considerations. name handle based attestation. Uh, I'm not sure what. I don't think that link. Change. That I think that link has changed. But yeah, it's somewhat. So what? Uh, if, what if it's in security considerations? Maybe. Hey, let me. Let me look back. In, in my report to see if I can see. Where it might be if you can't find it. What issue are you on now? Uh, we're talking about issue 295. Y yes, the link has changed. Where it used to be. You were right on that one. Kind of find it annoying that browsers don't tell you when they can't find that. Uh, they just drop you at the top of the document so when there's no valid in document link. Okay. Um, is now the section that is called Epic ID based attestation. The link changed when we did the handle to Epic ID rename. Uh, sorry. Uh, the the short version is Epic IDs dash sec. Epic ID s dash sec. Yes, that is the. And so the third paragraph is the one that says integrity is important. So does the fourth one. It must, should be at least integrity protected. Um, and there is no discussion of um, confidentiality because we never had a reason to mention confidentiality of them. They could be public. Okay. Well, I'm happy with that, with that text. I'm willing to close this issue okay. based on this. Okay, so at this point, we have now done all of the issues that 
all our pull requests are down to this one by Lawrence. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know why these say has pull requests. Um, 299, we can remove that label because 299, we've merged in the one that had the pull request. And right. the follow up pull request is on me, and I don't have the pull request ready for that one yet. So, yeah. I'll... Okay. So, we'll remove that. Okay. And then. And are all the issues assigned to somebody now? Are there any that we need to assign? Uh, yes, except for this is Lawrence's issue. I think that's the one that he has open that is the one pull request. So what, what is 30, 308, 309? I wrote some text. I don't think it just, I don't think it closed. I don't think it closed properly. Sorry. Um, um, that didn't work. Oh, I see. So look, I have the section here. And committed eight days ago. We but is it possible I just never created a pull request? This three oh eight and three oh nine were they PRs that were closed? They're not PRs, they're they're Text that I re I rewrote section on a confidentially of a tester material closing 308 and 309, but I don't think I ever yeah. would yeah. have made a pull request. As yeah, I think it looks like you created a branch but never a pull request. Yeah. Yeah. So I was too fast or something. I don't know if that'll work. Okay, well, uh, now we got a new right. one to review. <laughs> new one to review. Right. Okay. Can, can we go back to the two issues to just refresh your memory as to what this is addressing? Yeah. So, his is Henka's. Another way to provision is to generate the device and export the validation key. A few words on the why that is the case that I needed to hear. Okay, not sure what that means, but okay, what's the other one? 308? Oh yeah, locking doors. This is the business of okay. right. examples were doubled. Yeah. Gotcha. So when I when I started rewriting the one, I wound up just okay. do, they wound up together. That's why I posted them together. Uh, three thirty nine. I think I'm gonna review this on my own machine here. Okay. So if you uh, give me two or three minutes here. And yeah, that's fine. It here. Hank might show up. I know I didn't write all this text myself. Um, so I must have mixed, I don't know, someone else's text in. Line thirteen forty three seems wordy. Thirteen forty three. This yeah. one. Yep. Yeah. So the clarifying text was added, but the rest of the sentence is still pretty difficult to parse.
yeah. several right. Right. multiple yeah. prepositions and then uh, is necessary in order to you know and I don't know what a public so what, is. Tell me what how you would reword this. I, I don't know how to. Re, I don't know what it's trying to say because I, I guess you know it says the chain of custody of the public. Maybe they meant public key. Yeah, public key. Uh, in order to avoid attacks, where the attacker is able to enroll. If I can substitute keys along the, the way, then I can get my own key enrolled rather than the some real devices. I can get my own keys enrolled. Uh, I mean, it's, I would, I mean, it's like, uh, is there an assumption that the there's a policy that's that has a trust anchor based on a public key? So, for instance, let's say that uh, you there's a phone going down an assembly line, and there's a key that's been that that the manufacturer has to sign um, in order for the the uh, which will be used as an uh, attestation key, right? Mm -hmm. So the key from the attest environment is being signed and the attacker is able to substitute uh, uh, another public key whose private key they can control which then means that they can make up evidence about the device which will be will be uh, believed because it's been signed by the manufacturer right It's it's um, it's more than just confidentiality of the public key. It's it's no, it's not confidentiality at all. It's integrity because we don't exactly. care exactly. Yeah. It's integrity of the public key. Yeah, confidentiality is is a mis misleading. I think here. I don't don't see where it says confidentiality. Or thirteen forty three says maintains confidentiality of the public key. Is not necessary not to maintain necessary. to maintain confidentiality of the public key. But however, integrity however, of integrity, integrity yeah. of the public key is necessary, and that may be it. Just they could just say that flat out. Does enroll have two L's? I don't know anymore. Not sure myself. Yeah, I guess two L's. That's more readable, what you have. All right, I think I've finished reviewing on my machine and generated some comments. Okay, so I'm just going to put that there and then I'll hit reload. Uh, looks like you were also doing some edits on one that I was commenting on. So yep. we'll see if okay. it leaves the comments so we can verify whether they're addressed. Okay, so the top comment on your screen is that uh, we have like four paragraphs on the case where it's constructed outside the device and provision in the, in the device. 
And then suddenly we start talking about the case where it comes out of the device. And it's not clear that we're transitioning into a second case there, right? Uh, where three thir the red text said another way to provision key material was kind of the, the bridge. So we needed something like that, or else we needed to create two different subsections, which might be clearer. I'm just going to delete your duplicate comment here. Oh, okay. Uh, so is there a sentence splice? Confidentiality of public keys is not necessary when key material is generated, or is that? Um, I, I would much rather make it be more obvious because I think um, an astute reader should be able to conclude for themselves that uh, having it be generated by the device itself is inherently more secure. They may or may not have chips that do that, um, but that's actually a better way to do it when they can. So uh, I, would, I would like I, to be more I don't want to. I don't want to reopen. I don't want to. The, the, there are people that actually dispute that point, um, and that's because of the based upon their comf their 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 uh, um, their skepticism as to the random the quality of the random number generator. And there's mm -hmm. apparently evidence come from, for instance, Taiwan. Uh -huh. where they had uh, several million private keys compromised due to random number bugs. Yeah. So I'm not suggesting uh, we create any value statement in here, right? Yeah. Um, but I just want them to call, make it be obvious that we're actually covering two different mechanisms uh, that there's different paragraphs about. Okay, so first I'm going to commit this, your 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 trivial dash and public key okay. here, okay, okay to, to, because it's just trivial. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's a removal of the hyphen, but yeah. Oh, it's removal. Okay. So you don't like the word when as a transition. Right. And so I... I it sounds I, like, okay, we just walk through a bunch of stuff, and when you're doing that, uh, then blah, blah, blah. And it's like, well, no, we're talking about something else now. Yeah, okay. It, so it's still I, talking I, about the case of the key being generated on the device though, right? Right, no, this is the very first sentence that introduces that, right? Everything above this is where it's not generated within a device. Um, so maybe I'm misreading it. The yeah, because if you scroll 1337. Up, 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 keep scrolling up, keep scrolling up, keep scrolling up, uh, so you have to expand upwards. Okay, all right, uh, beginning of the section here. Okay, one way to provision key material, 1327. Right, so that's what introduces there. So we can either create a, another deeper section heading right there because all the text from 1327 down to the line that I commented on, all of that is about the case where it's provisioned external and then provisioned into, and that's why we care, care about the you know, locked rooms and so on because you've got a private key that's actually transported between two different places. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, I, I'm... My preference is to add more section headings. Yeah. Sure. Uh, I, I I accept that the word when is not great. We we well, can change that as well. If you create um, a section heading above it, then the word when is not bad. You can just leave it because then it's clear by having a brand new section. Okay. So uh, well, let me do that. I well, don't think you can do it here. I think you have to do it on your machine. <laughs> on the machine. Okay. Um. Okay, well, I'll do that, and then why don't you take a look at this change that Ned and I were just discussing? Okay, um, because I had done comments on the old version, and I have to try to find them so I can see if the new version addresses my comments. I can call it up on my machine. Uh, here's a comment here. Wait a second, I had one. What, what line number was this one? This one was... I don't think we overlapped. What what was the what was this line number you guys were editing? Uh, thirteen forty two. Okay, thirteen forty two. Okay, so I had comments on. No, you can imagine. Okay, All right, fair enough. What is this branch called? Confidentiality public keys. Okay. 
Okay, yeah, it seems to have lost my comment even on my own machine, so I'll just redo them again. I submitted another comment on that line, but I didn't want to interrupt when you're working on perfecting. Okay, so I'm going to add a new heading. And is it going to be on device gener key generation? For the second heading, yes. You should be adding two new headings, right? Yes. yes. Yeah. On the, uh, yeah. So, what so you said off. sounds fine. Yeah, off device key generation and on device key generation. Yeah, something like that would be fine. There, there's a subcase that maybe isn't worth mentioning, which is the software to to do on device key generation is provisioned. The keys are generated, and then that software is deprovisioned. Not always, but yes, you're right. Not always, but that is a, it's sort of a variation of the on-device key generation approach. I don't know if it's worth mentioning. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think um, so. And, 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 and there's also the hybrid case when what's actually generated on-device is a uh, symmetric key, which is used to deterministically to generate the other pieces. Mm -hmm. um, and that has some... Yeah. And I can imagine other weird hybrids like uh, on the factory floor, you uh, actually have an additional entropy source by, you know, attaching some entropy source to a pin, you feed it a random number, and then it generates a key that's different from your random number and just uses that as one of the seeds. Right. Uh, and so you never get the a private key out of there, but you have an external source of entropy that's not shipped, right? Yeah. Okay, so if does this work right? I don't think this worked right. Mm, don't see the second headings yet. No, I don't either. So that's why I'm wondering what happened. Confidentiality public keys. Add headings for on off. That looks right to me. Pull requests, that's the pull request. Ah, uh, why? Which which row are you on? Well, I'm trying to to add. I was trying to add a um, header heading here, which had to go up here, which I couldn't edit. Whatever you did, it says refresh now at the top. Oh, it yeah. does. That took it a while to. There we go. Yay. I was just listening to a talk yesterday about uh, from a GitHub person about um, issues they have with writing, with delays between write, uh, sending updates to their writing shard and the replication to their reading shard. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, timely. Yeah. yeah, it was very timely. So, yeah. so that one looks fine. Let's see the other section heading. Okay. Uh, so that's a bit weird that that showed up like that, but anyway. It's okay. So you can resolve my my comment there. What does enroll mean? Oh no. So it it, it what if we put one L? Well, then will you understand it? <laughs> nope. <laughs> I, I think we should delete the word entirely. The word doesn't make any sense. It's never defined. The concept is not part of the architecture. I don't know what it means. So I, I think right. it's, we shouldn't have to introduce a new concept here. Is able to introduce. Um, substitute I don't know what that means because um, 
tell, tell, tell me what your what what the concept is, just so I can I can concept, guess, but I want to make sure. Con, the concept is that that an attacker manages to get a public key that they control signed okay. by the manufacturer, rather than or in addition to uh, a key which is actually pr properly protected in the device. Okay, gotcha. So you're talking about the ability to endorse it, then, correct? Yes. Okay, so uh, where an attacker is able to get a uh, a to, to to I'm trying to find the right wording, but you're trying to mean some. You're trying to refer to specifically to the concept of endorser or endorsement in the phrase. Yeah, is able to get a key they control endorsed. Endorsed. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that there sounds you go. Right. Because endorsed is something that we do talk about. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Um, so it's not quite integrity of the chain of the of the public key. It's not. It's, I think that's probably the wrong phrase because you're not trying to say there's anything wrong with endorsing that public key. What you're trying to prevent is endorsing additional keys. Right. Well, Whether so the original that, one gets endorsed is not not a big deal. Not important. A different attack that it's says, important. Because if you're trying to say that they can cause the correct key to not get endorsed, that's a separate thing from getting an additional key endorsed. Those are two different attacks. You can do them both at the same time by tampering and doing a switch right. in place, but that's so two So we're attacks. trying to deal with the integrity of the, the, the chain, not of the public key. There's a, there's a false dichotomy that's presented in the line above, which is that a public key isn't, isn't always public. But then we switch to say <clears throat> that we're really talking about is the chain of custody of endorsement, which those two concepts are orthogonal. It, it, yeah. it, 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 if, if you maintain the integrity of the public keys somehow, then the attacker can't, can't introduce their own. On the other hand, you can in, you maintain the integrity of the channel, um, which is a different concept, but has the same effect. Yeah, I just, I think, I don't, I think that the integrity of the public key is protected by the private key. So if, if somebody modifies the public key, then it no longer matches the private key. And then you that's just not, have a denial of service. But that's not, not, uh, um, if, if what you're saying is that there is a, a challenge response process um within the signing process then that's that can be um the that can be a useful way to do it but the problem is that the public key is not was never trusted in the first place uh, all right i've read this three times i can live with it the way that it's worded way with this change down here yeah, yeah. down there So I'm just going to resolve that for mm -hmm. now so that we can see it. Mm -hmm. You can read it again and see if you're still happy. Okay. Hi, Hank. Hi. My conflict ended uh, 15 minutes early, so uh, here I am. Great. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm still happy enough with it. I can live with it. Looks okay. Ned? Uh, yeah, it's... It makes sense if to think okay. about it but yeah it's fine mm -hmm. all right so dave's last comment it's a question um right now it says most ensure that only attestation key material that's generated is established in attesters right now it's worded as if um every use case inherently must have an endorser role someplace and my question is i wonder if that's too strong if there's some use cases that you still put attestation keys there, even though you don't have an endorser. And I don't know. And so I'm just wondering if we want some wiggle room here. So maybe the word is valid. Val valid is just kind of redundant. Um, so uh, you could, you can, the, the only way I would see it that you don't need an uh, explicit endorser when you are responsible, you are the, you are the validator yeah. of the evidence. Are responsible yeah, yeah. For the key. Yeah. yeah, you're right. And we actually do cover that in a, 
sentence elsewhere in the document, yeah. right? So if you're like a uh, a maker and you only make six devices and you're going to use them in your own facility, exactly. you don't need an endorser. You just put all six of the uh, public keys in your verifier and say, I'm going to trust just those six keys. So I don't need an endorser. So it's Probably you are taking on the role of endorser for yourself then. So yeah, so, well, you, thing, don't have, you don't have a separate endorser per se, because at least as we've defined it, right? You, you have exactly, but the trust anchor is the public key of the device. Well, so we, we, we have an some wording change here. The, the, we have a, we have an endorser role and a verifier role in the same entity. Exactly. So I think it's a, it's, it's a collapse. Just so what if you just say only valid attestation key material is established? In other words, you put the word valid after only. And then delete the uh, that is phrase would be my suggestion that only valid attestation key material and then delete yeah. the that is. And so validation key material is established in the testers. Just delete everything to the is. Yeah, yeah. I think that's safe. Is everybody happy with that? Because I think to somebody who's thinking yeah. about endorsers, that already conveys the right answer to them. Yeah. For those who, yeah. who are thinking about the other one, it'll still convey the right answer. So. Right. Just that if of... you need an endorser for the things, it's just covered somewhere else. Exactly. Yeah. We got much longer exposition yeah. elsewhere. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Looks good to me now. Okay, I'm going to commit this. Okay. And does that one resolve an issue? Oh, that, yeah, that was the three, three, 308 and 309, right? Yeah. So it's two issues for the price of one. And they're closed and closed. Four issues left, okay. And two of them are me. Okay. That All one. Right. That one. Sounds good. Okay. So uh, we're going to meet next week. Yep. Yeah, I'll work on both of those for next week. Okay. Wonderful. Talk to you guys then. Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So, but, 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 but what are we doing? But, and I asked this last time with a pull mm -hmm. request from Lawrence. Um, I, I somehow in the middle well, we left have, have to either. Memory. Yeah. Sorry. I thought we already kind of dismissed most of that pull request, but that is not captured anywhere. So maybe I'm misremembering this. So that's my ask. How do we, uh, can, can we, can we proceed with, I don't know, either discussing that or dismissing that? I don't know. Well, uh, since I haven't read it in at least a month, um, <laughs> Me neither. I, I'm going to suggest yeah. that we, we, we take that as a to do item to either dismiss it or finish it uh for by next week and so if you yeah. think that we need okay. to do something with it then let's please have some comments about it i'm remembering that that part of the issue was that um you look at the pull request related to it that we had a problem with the extent to which it was rewritten and that it was not lawrence because it missed some things and it was not lawrence's intention to admit to remove those mm -hmm. but he we he also hasn't added the pieces back in that we thought we needed so mm -hmm. um i would say that either somebody rewrites it with his with adding whatever it is he wanted but not removing i think is the problem and i was some I people that, that thought that some people that thought that that there was no problem that he wasn't fixing a problem uh and and i only liked it because it added more blank lines <laughs> <laughs> right Shorter paragraphs. Yeah, cool. I got a pull request for you, Michael. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, maybe will, we should have a better informed opinion about this next time, and then yeah. we can uh, make that go away. Dave Taylor, if you want to add commas, that would be fine. <laughs> <laughs> commas save lives. <laughs> you, you've seen those things like uh, yeah. "Let's eat, Grandma," right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the commas save lives. All right. Thank you. I'll talk to you next week. Next week. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye.